Hello, hello, welcome. So I am super excited for today's conversation because I didn't realize how much people needed to know about how the heck to have a 10K month. And there's a lot of crap out there in the online coaching space that's like, you know, just sell 10 packages for $1,000 each and there's your 10K month. But I am going to share with you today how to have consistent 10K months, okay? So I have had consistent 10K and above months for the last nine months now. It is very important to me that my business has really high consistent monthly reoccurring revenue. A lot of people's business models aren't that way, but I know, especially for my babes coming out of corporate America, that your bills are consistent and monthly. And so of course you want your income to also be consistent and monthly. So I'm gonna share with you today exactly the structure and the strategy behind that. So I love what I get to do. I love all the woo woo hippie shit, but before you're making your first six figures in your business, there's a lot of strategy and structure that needs to go into play with the woo woo hippie shit. So like hell yes, woo woo hippie shit and structure, strategy, action, right? So I dropped the link for the Rebel Mastermind because if you've been watching me, if you've been waiting, if you are not a one-on-one -on -one client or a mastermind client yet, and you want to move the needle in your business this year, I recommend you scoop up one of the last three spots. Our opening ceremony is Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I would love to have you there. If you want to make 5K, 10K and above, and you're not yet rocking and rolling that type of consistent monthly reoccurring revenue, this is for you. This is the game-changing program that will help you figure out how to get there with the structure, with the strategy, with the action, with the sisterhood and getting supported all the way through. Three spots left, get your cute butt in there. Send me a DM uh, for a special discount. So 10K months, how the hell do you do it, Emily? What, what, how? I'm gonna share everything with you that I possibly can and I want you to ask questions. Tell me that you're here, say hi, I'd love to say hi back. And the first thing, the very first most important structural piece of getting to 10K months in your business is knowing who the hell you're here to work with and how you help them. It's cool if you're allergic to a niche, totally fine. If you're like, Emily, I don't wanna niche down, that's fine. But your work is still for specific people at a specific point in their lives. Otherwise, uh, it's probably not a thing, right? Like there's specific solutions to specific problems on the planet. This that's part of human existence and clarity and helping people see that your stuff is for them. Step one of structure, have a niche, have a person, a type of person, a situation in their lives that you're speaking to for a specific program at a specific time. So it's a-okay if you have different niches, different types of people you wanna work with for different packages and programs, no problem. But you wanna be able to speak to that particular person Otherwise, it's really hard for your people to see that your work is for them, okay? So if you already have a niche, if you already know who you want to work with this month, tell me in the comments. Let me know. Are they teens who want to move their bodies a bit more? Are they women in midlife who want to feel more joy? Are they men who want to connect to their partners on a deeper level, right? You're starting to see this articulation. Hi, Alicia. And this idea that like you are helping a specific person with a specific problem at a specific time. Otherwise we would be like snake oil salesmen, right? Like I have a magical elixir potion. It is for you and it cures all. Chances are, that's not what you do. You really do something specific and unique that helps people at a particular time in their lives. Let me know what that program or package or who you're helping right now. That's the first part of the structure of a 10K month. And again, I'm talking about 10K monthly reoccurring revenue. I'm not talking about a one-off cash infusion, right? Because sure, you could sell 10 packages that are like 
one day VIP sessions for $1,000 a pop and ta-da, there's your 10K month. No, I'm talking about consistent 10K reoccurring revenue, right? AKA stability, AKA, <sighs> AKA I can pay the mortgage or the rent or buy the new house or invest in the camper van or the bus or go on the trip I've been wanting to take or pay off my student loans, right? So step one, niche. Step two, offer. What are you offering? What are you selling? And within that, making a price point that stacks over time. So if you want to make a one 10K package, you know, one, one program, $10,000, you could. But the structure of a 10K month is really the overlapping payments and the overlapping offers. Feel free to write this down. Remember, this is a video. You can always catch the replay or like watch it again and take notes, okay? So let's say you started in January. Let's say January of this year, you sell a program that's $300 a month for three months, okay? You sell a handful of people into that program in January, and then you sell more people into the program in February, and then more people in March, and then you've got $900 in January. And from that one program, another $900 in February, but you sold three more. So that's 1,800 in February, right? And then you stack and you've got the 1800 and you sell three more. What is that? $21,000 January, February, March, right? So what you're doing is you're stacking payment plans for different programs over time. And it's so easy to get lost in, lost in the kerfluffle shuffle that is the coaching industry of like, I made $20,000, okay. But what's really freaking rad and cool as a healer is those stacking overlapping payments because it allows people to access your work. It makes it accessible. It makes it affordable. And it makes you the money you need and want to make. Okay. So I'm breaking this down for you and dismantling it and sharing a bit of my story as well. These overlapping payment plans and offers. All right. So let's say this month, in April, you decide, you know what, I'm gonna sell, uh, I'm gonna sell one-on-one -on -one coaching. Okay, so here's an actual offer that I sold last year. I decided to sell one-on-one -on -one coaching. Now I could have sold it, it was two calls a month and um, video modules pre-recorded in my vault in between, okay? Two calls a month, video modules. I could have sold it for 444 a month for six months. Instead, the only price I pitched and quoted and the only rate I advertised it at was $222 a month for six months. Okay, so I could have condensed it and said, oh yeah, it's pay in full this amount. And instead, I made the pricing accessible and affordable and stacked it over time. So then when somebody said yes, they could relax because it was only $200 a month. I could relax knowing, okay, for the next six months, I've got $200 coming in each month. All right, how do I sell another the next month and another and another and stack and overlap them? So you're creating the foundation for your business with your niche, with your offers, and then you're stacking and scaling. You don't have to charge an arm and a leg to people in order to make consistent 10K months. I will tell you right now, point blank, the highest payment I have coming in each month is $1,000. The lowest payment is $55.50. And yet this month already, it is April 6. This month already, I'm at $13,000 cash for the month. That's because of overlapping consistent stacking payment plans, selling different things, letting people in for accessible rates, giving them the option to pay in right? And the option to stack it over time so that I can build on it. I intentionally crafted the foundation for this business and allowed people to work with me for less over time. You can do that too, okay? With your healing businesses, 
with your packages and programs and you stack and overlap. I know, right? Isn't that insane, Brittany? It seems so simple and it is simple. It's not necessarily easy, but it is simple. And then it lets people get access to us and lets us help them right now. Now, sure, you could say, all right, I'll take the $1,000 pay in full. And that's how you see people with like, oh my God, I just had a 50K month. And that's cool. That's so cool. And there's a time and a place for it. But if you, like me, want consistent monthly reoccurring revenue, it's really about those overlapping stacking payment plans. Thanks, Brittany. Thanks for joining me today. Yeah, it's really, that's the game changer, right? And to me, when I quit my corporate job after 15 years in corporate HR, I made $103,000, um, the biggest year I had in corporate salary. And I swore up and down there was no way I was going to make more money in a healing business because it mattered to me that the work was accessible. It matters to me that my people don't have to have nervous system freakouts in order to work with me. I'm not into that. I'm not about that. Most of the people who work with me are debt adverse. Most of them either don't have access to major credit cards or don't want to go into that amount of debt. I'm a big believer in scaling your investments. So, you know, you don't have to invest $40,000 in order to make your business fly, but maybe you invest $500 a month over the next year for the Rebel Mastermind to get supported for the next six months of your business, right? The very first coaching I ever did that was a major game changer for my business, that's the only way I could afford it. It was $500 a month for the year, okay? And had it not been for the payment plan, I wouldn't have been able to afford the program. So what I did is I took on a side gig that paid for daycare two days a week and paid for my business coaching. And through that, then I slowly made money in my business. If I, I'll share this chart sometime, but my, re, my revenue slowly goes like this. I don't have big swings because I've built it with these payment plans and stacking payment plans. It also means if something terrible happens and somebody has to cancel out of your program, somebody has to drop, somebody has to break a contract, you can let them out without freaking out. And when I first started my business, I had people that hopped in for one-on-one -on -one business coaching with me. I was charging 777 a month. I had three clients at that rate. One client decided that you know, she couldn't, she just couldn't. After working with me two months, she stopped showing up to the calls. She uh, had her car break down. She had to buy a new car and she couldn't continue. And I let her out of the contract and it sucked, okay? It sucked to have a third of your income just zap out. But with these long-term extended payment plans, if that happens, if someone has to file for bankruptcy, if something insane happens, People want to pay me, people want to pay you, but shit happens. It doesn't freak out your nervous system because it's one payment of many, right? And you can make it up with a different offer or with selling the same program and repeating it, making it easy. This is where the pleasure and the ease and the joy come in. Rerun that damn masterclass, rerun that challenge, do the thing again. The way you've made your sales so far is what you want to double down on doing and keep making those sales. Yeah, access and availability to credit is diverse. Isn't it interesting? Yeah, I absolutely have some clients who don't have the credit for a credit card. Okay, that's part of why I have monthly payment plans, right? I had $60,000 in student loan debt and man, did I hate debt. But now I see debt as an investment but I am privileged and fortunate enough to be able to see debt as an investment. That's not the case for everybody. And I would rather make my work accessible, especially with business coaching, right? Most people, it's a chicken and the egg problem. If I only made more money, then I could invest in business coaching. But if you were making more money, you wouldn't need the business coaching as much, right? What came first, investing in your business or having a successful thriving business? I would argue that investing in the support comes first because you want someone to help you demystify this stuff, to take a look at your programs, your services, the way you're selling, what's working, what's not. 
what's moving the needle for your clients? How do you show up and serve the humans and make money doing it? Because then you're gonna make more money, right? So stack your payment plans, scale, have different offers for different levels. You get to decide what feels good to you. My general rule of thumb is the payment plans will only be up to twice the length of the container. So for the mastermind, it's a $500 payment plan for a year. The program is six months long, right? So then that's six more months of payments. You can always pay it off at any time, no big deal. But doing the $500 makes it sustainable, right? And then makes it so that as you have more money flowing in, you have a higher profit margin, which feels really freaking good when you're making that and when you're doing it through helping other people. And you're also passing that accessibility buck on down, right? Because if you're only paying $500 a month for business coaching, then maybe you don't have to charge your clients as much each month or you can stack the payments over time. So maybe to work with you, it's $500 a month, but maybe you make that a two month payment plan, 250 and 250. And then you stack those. So it seems more possible, accessible and affordable to your people. They can work with you. You get to work and support them. You get to make your work better and better. And that is where scaling comes in. Because today, this third round of the mastermind, I am way better at helping people get results faster. Those of you amazing humans who invested in the first round of the mastermind, my goodness, I love you. Thank you for your faith in me. I am a way better business coach now, a year later, than I was then, right? It took me longer to see what I needed to see. And now I'm really focused of, here's the next step. I see your stuff. I see what you're trying to do. I see what's working and what's not. Here's the right next step for you. According to what I see, take it or leave it and let me help coach you through it so that you can feel good while you're doing it and not like you want to burn your business down every Monday morning. So you want to figure out what moves the needle, what's going to work for your people, what payment is accessible, and then stack the overlapping payment plans over time. So my goal is a quarter million dollar business this year. And I want to do that through accessible, affordable programs, but also I love high touch containers. I don't love like, oh, an evergreen course with 300 people in it. Meh. I know what moves the needle for my people is live attention, right? The templates and the tools in the mastermind are awesome. They're going to blow your socks off, but the real juice is the weekly coaching. It's the one-on-one -on -one call. It's the support in the Facebook group where you can literally come in any day of the week and ask a question and get a response in 24 hours. That's a big deal. That's a big deal when you're building a business. And I know that's what moves the needle. So that's the style of program that I create, cultivate, and curate. I don't want to do the downloadable evergreen things. Those are for other people. I love live programs. So even though I can only work two to three days a week because of my kiddos, I want the live attention for my people because I know it's a game changer for you and it's a game changer for me. So payment plans. Thank you. Aw, thanks, Brittany. She says, thanks so much for sharing this. You did not hold back. Very candid. Much love to you. Appreciate you. One of my amazing clients, Dawn. Hi, Dawn. If you're watching, calls me the meat and potatoes uh, protein because it's a necessary component of your business. I like teaching actual stuff, not fluff. So stacking overlapping payment plans. Here's the thing. You want to start this yesterday, okay? Because you can see what I'm saying. If you sold a package at 300, you know, sell it at $500 a month for three months, call it a $1,500 package, sell two this month, two next month, two the month after that, and oh, holy shit, you've got, you've got stacking payments, right? You're slowly increasing your revenue very quickly, right? Month to month. So you really want to have started the scaling plan yesterday, started the payment plan yesterday. And I would also argue investing in support yesterday. Hop in my DMs, grab one of these last three spots in the mastermind. What I know to be true is that we want the investment to be stretchy, but not terrifying, right? Like your nervous system does not need to be blown out but it is gonna be a stretch. It's gonna be a little uncomfortable to reach out, to say, well, yeah, I want in, to decide, to invest in yourself and in your business. But I know that it's the game changer. I know that it is because I've done it. I can tell you, I have already made more in sales 
now than I did in cash all of less, last year. And that's because of getting support. It's because of hiring somebody to see my business, to see me, to help me through the things that I've never done before. And I'm here to help you with that exact thing too. If you wanna get somewhere you've never been, you need someone who's been there to show you how to do it for you. And that's why I believe in making things accessible and affordable. And you get to do that and still make the high income months that you wanna make over time. Let me know what other questions you guys have. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you, you joining your time and your energy and I don't take it for granted. Take care.